I bought an M1 Mac Mini with only one terabyte of storage. I did this because I knew I had a two terabyte NVMe chip. Unfortunately, you can't replace or add to the internal storage on the M1 Mac Mini. I really wish you could, but I found this guy right here. It's from OWC. It's a Thunderbolt 3 NVMe external storage device. Now it's Thunderbolt 3, so it's plenty fast enough to support the NVMe chip speed. And it's also got its own storage controller. The reason why I'm using an NVMe chip is it's the fastest storage you can buy right now on the market. Now, this one right here is a two terabyte NVMe chip. It's rated to go up to 1500 megabits per second for read and write speed. It's from Corsair. There are faster ones on the market. This is hands down not the fastest one, but this was the one that was in my file server, my Windows file server. So I took it out of that. I'm gonna put it in this guy, so this way it'll give me an extra two terabytes of storage. Now, even though this is 1500 megabits per second read and write, it's still not as fast as the M1 Mac Mini's internal storage. In fact, it's about half the speed. But I'm just gonna be using this for archive, so storing old video projects, podcast projects, backups, things like that, stuff that I don't need to be on the fastest possible storage stuff that <laughs> this will be plenty fast enough, trust me. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this installed. So first thing we're gonna do is unscrew the casing here. Now this case does come with a screwdriver, so I'm just using that. That's why it's kind of small and cheap. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop this case off. So here is the storage controller for the NVMe chip. Um, we're gonna have to take out this screw right here. The problem with having big hands and small screws is it's next to impossible to do anything with them. Okay, so we're gonna put that in here, push that down, and then just set that screw right on top there. Okay. Button this back up. Okay, all right, so there's that. Now it does come with this piece right here. It's this little plastic piece. You can peel this off and there's a sticky side. I am going to stick this to the Mac Mini eventually, but for right now, I am gonna leave it off. Uh, I have some plans to mount the Mac Mini kind of on the wall underneath my desk so it's out of the way, so it's one less thing on my desk. Um, but that piece is not here yet. I already went ahead and plugged the device into the Thunderbolt port. So we're going to open up Disk Utility here. And in Disk Utility, we'll see the drive. I know I actually already went ahead and formatted it, but I'm just going to cover what you need to do. When you open it, you'll see it to be one of these external drives right here. Ignore these others. We just want archive. Uh, yours will probably be named something else, but I have already erased mine. So you're, you're gonna hit erase. You can name it whatever you want and you want the format to be APFS. So we'll go ahead and hit erase, let it do its thing. Okay, so now we have an empty drive. So if we open up Finder, you can see right here, archive, empty drive. So we're gonna open up Blackmagic disk speed test right here. So this will test the speed of the disk. So we could run this right here and this will test the internal storage speed right here. So you'll see like, yeah, the, the M1 Mac Mini is really fast. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop this. We're gonna change it. We're gonna go select target drive. Then we're gonna scroll down to archive, open, and then we're gonna run this. It should get to be about 1500. And it looks like the write's a little small, short from that. Let's see what the read gets to. Okay, Re reads about close to 1500. Let's see if it, okay. It looks like write's getting there now. Okay, yeah, so it's it's just under 1500. It, I mean, it's not enough to make a noticeable difference, but it looks like it's just about getting there. I'm not sure why that first test was a little uh, slower, but it looks like this seems to be working. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop this. So now what we could do is so we have this archive right here. Uh, we can come in here. I have all my archive stuff right here just temporarily. We can copy this over. I'm just kind of curious to see how fast this will go. So almost 260 gigs, almost 270 gigs in about three minutes. Yeah, that's awesome. 
Wish I had that when I was in film school. So now that we have that folder all set up, we could go into the sharing settings and system preferences and share that folder out so we can access it via the SMB support in files if we wanted to. Um, I still have a few other things that I wanna do, but I do wanna set this guy up as a file server. So if you guys are actually interested in that, let me know and I can make a video about how I do that along with like turning it into an automation server and stuff like that. I also have a few more modifications planned for this Mac. So if you guys are interested in that stuff, I, I, I wasn't planning on making videos out of all of them, but if you guys are interested in it, let me know in the comments and I'll turn them into videos. Like always, I'll put links to everything I mentioned in the description below. So thank you all so much for watching and have a great day.